Welcome to another episode of the Egg Gun Leshy channel. Got a little Christmas present for you all in this video. I've been working on my trigger drills and I've got some spectacular footage to prove it. So sit back, relax, it's double taps only. And only on two tonight, an angry squirrel terrorizing a Houston area neighborhood, even attacking two mothers. Channel 2 anchor Keith Garvin live in Cyprus tonight with this crazy story. Keith? Yeah, Dominique, they say the squirrel only comes out during the daytime, so we should be pretty safe here tonight. But we know a squirrel that attacks may sound humorous to a lot of people, but this squirrel has people leaving their homes with baseball bats and shovels to protect themselves. We usually don't go outside during the daytime because he comes out in the daytime. No, um, I don't really go near any trees. I'm scared. The reason? This squirrel that residents say started off friendly and playful. <laughs> For some reason, in the past few weeks, it's become imposing and aggressive and wound up biting two moms in the Bridgeland Shores neighborhood. He attacked Charlene French of Mescata after she tried to stop the animal from chewing up her front door. When I stepped outside the door, he leaped on me and bit my arm. Um, I pulled him off, threw him to the ground, and tried to get in the house. I couldn't get in the house because he no sooner came back, he bit at this leg. She has the stitches and bite marks to prove it. The squirrel also attacked Katie Herrera. It's scary. Um, I'm just very grateful that it actually attacked me and not my children. Families say the ordeal may sound amusing to some, but this one small animal has them on constant edge. <laughs> Big Unleshy presents Double Taps Only. In this video, I'll be running the Egg Unleshy 2 Reaper in the Hornet configuration. Uh, in a 30 cal or 762 millimeter. So I've got the March FX 4.5 by 28 scope sitting on the Scalarworks Leap 07 mount. Every time March sends me a scope, I keep saying that it's my favorite scope of all time. Well, once again, I found my new favorite scope of all time. This thing's absolutely incredible. And when you see the footage here in a minute, I think you'll understand why. So rounding out the setup is a custom grip I snagged from Adgun West and this gooseneck rail extension for when I want to throw a bipod on, which I'll be using today to get such steady footage for double taps. Uh, for some reason, I can't use the semi word that describes the repeating nature of this air gun on YouTube right now. But uh, with that said, uh, the rapid fire capability plays a critical role in today's video. Double and even one triple tap I show in this video takes quite a bit of practice. Uh, and I've been working on that for some time, just some trigger control and different trigger drills. Uh, for each one, uh, I'm going to show a super slow-mo, a real-time, and then another kind of, I'll call it like normal slow motion, to help showcase the balance between this impressive patented system and the incredible footage through this Tier 1 optic made possible by Eagle Vision GoPro Scope Cam. So I'll throw links to the description if you want any details about this rig, but let's get to it. Generally speaking, PCP air guns have zero recoil, so the short barrel Leshy 2 definitely has a little kick to it, especially in 7.62, which you can see throughout my videos. But management of this is key when sending two, as you have that plus the movement of the squirrel to think about. So in this particular case, I was thinking this guy was actually going to go backwards, so I tried to lead that way as I was tapping the trigger for that second shot. I just barely clipped it on that second one, but this is why I love scope cam. I can watch things back and then make the little adjustments that I need to. I'm going to show you this one first in real time, just to give you an idea of how fast this kind of goes down. Now I'll slow it down so you can see the adjustment I made on this second shot. So I'm not just trying to hit it on the second one. My goal is two independent kill shots double tapped. So this one was slightly high, but it severed the spinal cord and it would have been lights out as a result.
when they're slightly quartered like this or head on, I'm trying to put one in the head and then as it flies back, one into the chest. As I replay this and slow it down a bit, you'll see I just nick its hand and then right into the bread basket. So here's the headshot, and then watch. Just nicks its, boom, right into it. Two kill shots. And then one last time here in real time. Here's the one that's perfectly head on. So again, it's one right between the eyes and then one hard punch on the second. Here comes that hard punch. Boom. Let's watch this one more time and look how crazy this footage is. This is why I'm in love with the March FX 4.5 by 28. This glass is just absolutely incredible. I filmed this video just over a couple of days, so while I know my yard is really hard to comprehend sometimes with the amount of critters that are here, these past few weeks have been just absolutely nuts with the tree rat activity. They just keep coming and coming. At 28 yards, I'm not sure I can get two in the air at the same time, but I'm going to head up to the farm to test some slugs here soon, so I'll do some double tapping on another iPad further out, maybe 100 yards, and see if we can't capture a few in the air at the same time then. I've gotten this quarter two double tap down pretty good at this point with one in the head and follow up in the chest. A double shot to the head though, that would be next level. To pull off that double headshot, I'd need one facing me, and I watched this guy come down off my roof and basically lay down on the table for one. So for one, I was pissed he was on my roof, uh, and for two, I thought it was the perfect opportunity for a double headshot. That second shot created a ton of back pressure, and so the black and white editing needed to be called in. Uh, I've got an uncensored video come soon over on Club Lashley where this one you'll get a close-up and in normal color. So I'll drop a link in the description for that. Club Lashley is actually 100% free, and besides showing uncensored content, uh, it's my safety net uh, in case I get thrown off this platform again. So make sure to go. I'll throw a link in the description. Make sure to go sign up. It's free. I decided to stretch it out on this one and see if I could go for a triple tap. Uh, the anticipation kind of got the better of me, and none of these were very good independent shots. So I think I'll stick to the single snipes and the double taps for a while.
all in all, the double tap is actually a pretty fun way to shoot the Leshy, too. Uh, man, did I go through an enormous amount of lead, though, while I was practicing and uh, and filming this video. But I can actually see it having an application out in the woods uh, where there is no table for ones. Uh, and you're looking to increase the odds in tough conditions. And here's one more uh, where I went from a headshot to the Texas hard shot. Uh, the second one actually exited its mouth, and there is zero chance I can show that here. Thanks for watching the Ed Gun Leshy channel. Want more backyard hunting videos? Grab your favorite beverage and get yourself caught up. There's hundreds just like the one you just watched. Here's a couple favorites to get you started.